I just can't get away from a good time. Now, you know me, I love to highlight the shops and, well, some very, very special things here on the Carnival Jubilee. But we need a tour guide and I will uh, introduce you to the tour guide in a few moments because he's wearing something very special. But before we do that, a quick look around. And as you can see, a lot of your favourites um, are on the, Car the Carnival, give it a full name, Carnival Jubilee. I love these uh, little kids inaugural season jumpers there and you've got the all the collection here which fits in the in the backpack and all of these and uh, a lot of this beautiful stuff all says inaugural season which is of course is what everybody wants how long is the inaugural season well while stocks last basically six months maybe less so don't wait if you're cruising on here, grab some of this stuff that says inaugural season. And here are the ships, the four different ships. You've got this beautiful, stunning, absolutely beautiful crystal ship there. Only available on this ship, uh, on Celebration and also on Venezia, I think. And the, the other crystal one there, which is beautiful, this pewter one. And of course, the classic Jubilee. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the <laughs> shop manager, whose name is... Hi guys, my name is Joe. Um, I'm the gift shop manager on board. Joe, it's like deja vu. We did this on the celebration, Joe. There we go, one we more. Did, we did one more. Um, and tell us very quickly something about your department. So. Um, how many people are, do you have in the shop department? So the gift shop team uh, for support, we are a total of 24. 24. And yes. very quickly, go through the different shops that we have featured here on board the Carnival Jubilee. So we're going to start off with uh, the beautiful uh, beauty store. We have a lifestyle store. We're going to have a, a handbag part store. We're going to have a fashion watch store. We're going to have, of course, the, the liquor store. We're going to have the logo store that we're in right now. And then, of course, we're going to have... The one of my absolute favorites, the first time ever on what? Carnival. What? Tell us. A uh, Tag Heuer boutique. A Tag Heuer is... boutique. You know whose fault that is? <laughs> Max Verstappen. <laughs> He's a racing driver. There we go. He's been advertising F1. <laughs> ba, 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 bum. <laughs> Max, never mind. So, now, yeah. what you're wearing is going to be something that people are going to want to buy immediately. They'll come on. <laughs> There will be a line, I'm telling you, on the inaugural cruise, all the way down here, past guest services, and it says, first of all, it's, I love the heavy duty yeah. of it. It says, Carnival Jubilee, inaugural season, and you've got the zip on the, I'm touching your breast there. There we go. <laughs> zip there, and on the side here, it says, Carnival Choose Fun, on your arm, it says, inaugural season, and if we turn around, on the back here, we've got the, the Choose Fun and the, and the whale tail on the back, but to make sure we all know that it's Texas that we're in, we have got sailing from TX and a wonderful cowboy hat. Just stand there and model it. Can you look like a model? No, no, that's right. Like point to something in the distance. That's what they do. There we are. Fabulous. They really come here. They well. really are. And um, I'm going to be uh, auctioning one off. I'll tell you more about that a little bit later. But come with me because we've got, there's all the jackets, uh, up to 3X on these jackets, and they do run big. And then we've got all of the, uh, the beautiful stuff here, and all of the sweatshirts, and all of these um, collections from the shot glasses to the hats, to the very special limited edition with a certificate of authenticity, the Carnival Jubilee coin, and all this that our office have been working so hard with the people who run, manage and operate the stores. Hello, Mr. Brito, if you're watching this, thank you for your continuing genius that you share with us in our shops. And now let's show them the Texas things because being uh, sailing from Galveston, we needed to add some Texan joy. Yeehaw, so y'all, as he easily slipped, look how easily I slip into Texan now. <laughs> Y'all take a look at this now. You got a cowboy hat and some boots, some boots. So in the morning, you can wake up, eat your grits, wearing this. And I love this one. 
Could you hold that up for me, young man? Thank you. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Perfect. And it says on the, on the, some of them, I saw one I'm ready for the rodeo. Oh, it's that, that, that's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Rodeo ready. And we turn around, we've got the well tail on the front there. And cowboy hats. Look at this. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. Could you get it off, please? <laughs> There we are. Could you put that on for me? As you can see, we've got the cowboy hat, we've got the, the glittery one, but on here you've got the Star of Texas, the whale tail, all the way around. I've just twisted your neck. Off. <laughs> there we go. Sorry. <laughs> Bye, Danky. So you must be very, very excited. Yeah, we are really excited to be launching the, the Carnival Jubilee. And yeah, we're super excited to yeah. get that tag boutique out and everything. To get the tag uh, uh, boutique, you've got uh, the pre loved uh, purses, you've got the Texas store. And I'm telling you, folks, I reckon these jackets will be gone by the end of probably like the fifth cruise but we can always go down and get some more limited supplies because that's what we do so ladies and gentlemen if you are going to be cruising on the jubilee wonders like this are waiting for you and uh all of this uh great uh, bits and pieces here and the texan look at that texan boots texan scarves texan everything love it if you're coming shopping, you are going to be in a very special place and your gift shop manager will be wearing that hat <laughs> for the rest of his contract. Oh, YouTubers, chug me. This is Cookie, your cruise director on the Carnival Horizon down in Miami, Florida. Trust me, number one, you want to follow this man's channel, Coach Cruise, because he's the absolute best coach out here, not about fitness, but about cruising. Trust <laughs> me, he's going to make sure you have the best time ever because he knows the ins and outs of every cruise that you go on. So click that like, follow button, and share more about this brother right here. Not only is he my coach, but he's my cousin. We'll see you all <laughs> on the next cruise. Until then, we're out of here. All Peace. Right. Well, so there you go. Come on down here, Mike. Come and have a chat with me. How are we doing, John? Good to see you. Good Introduce see you. yourself to everybody, would you? Hey, everybody. I'm Mike Brewmaster here on Jubilee. Hold on, Mike. I'm going to ask everybody to... What do, I'm doing a video here. What do you it's mean? because you're the head architect of the ship. It doesn't give you the right... Hello, Richard. Well, I, I, do, I do like beer, so I yeah, know you I'll do. be quiet. All right. It really Michael, does. It's a popular it's area. It's great to see. It is the most popular area. Um, introduce yourself. So you're Mike. You're the... Brewmaster here on the Carnival Jubilee. There Mike. we are. From California, Mike. USA. Before we get into what you've just been doing and some of the things that we're going to feature here... How does one become a brewmaster? What point in your life did you reach where you went, you know what I want to do with my life? <laughs> I want to brew. How did that happen? Um, well, I kind of started as a hobby during college. I just uh, started making beer, you know, on my stovetop in my kitchen. And then at the end, you know, I have a degree I don't really use, but in the end, I just thought making beer sounded a lot cooler than grad school. So. And did, did you ever imagine you'd be doing it on a, on a, on a ship? Absolutely not. Uh, this is pretty much a dream come true. Um, we're, there's only, you know, a handful of us in the world That's that actually right. do this. Being a brewmaster is a lot, a lot like being a chef. Yeah. You can go to culinary school or you can just get in there and start washing dishes and moving your way up. And uh, in my case, I just started, you know, scrubbing floors, washing kegs and, you know, Day after day, year after year, here I am. Here you are. And let's let's just go quickly to what you were doing earlier. Yeah. Uh, what what was that whole process? So this process is known as the mash. If you guys have ever watched um, Moonshiners, for example, they talk about the mash a lot. So basically we're mixing uh, malted grains with hot water, which uh, extracts, uh, converts starches into sugars, which then becomes alcohol. Incredible. And how long is that going to be like in that that form for? That's going to be there for about an hour or so, and then we will separate the liquid from the grains, boil it, add some hops, 
send it over into one of those tanks there in the back to let it ferment, and then the yeast does their job over there. So, Carnival Jubilee um, is going to be what the third or is it the third ship or fourth ship? Sixth six ship six. with the brewery. We've got yep. six. We got six now. Six, Richard. Six. Six. <laughs> What's going to be a little different because we're sailing from Texas. So tell us first of all about some of the brews that people can enjoy while we're here. Well, um, we got several of my own design. You know, we just have a basic German lager. We have an Irish red ale. We're going to have an English brown. You're getting a little more experimental with a tropical sour pineapple beer. Wow. Yeah, yeah, that one's going to be interesting. Um, special for Texas. Uh, we know the Texans, they love their, their Shiner Bach. Yes. So we are making a special Bach for Texas, yes. uh, what we're calling the Big Bach, because it's a, a traditional German-style Bach with a, a little bit more kick, you know, wow. bigger and better for Texas, baby. Fabulous. And, uh, you know, we've got the Heroes Bar, mm -hmm. which is a very special addition to the ship. Uh, we, we're doing something special for them as well. Right? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually making that beer right now. This beer is going to be our Veterans Pale Ale, which is already available on every single brewery ship. And uh, we're doing it right now, special in tribute for our men and women in the armed services. Fabulous. Michael, um, if somebody asks you about uh, your personal favorite, I recommend me a Ooh. beer. Come on, Mike, which one would you recommend? I mean, that's like asking me which one of my kids I love more, but... Um... Oh, well, we... <laughs> <laughs> which one of your kids do you love more? Uh, I love the more bitter child. Yeah, uh, I'm oh, more of a go. hophead, uh, West Coast brewer, so I really like my IPAs. Yeah, IPAs. I'm yeah, going to be right. doing a hazy IPA special, too, for here, so uh, that's the one I'm looking looking forward to the most. And try the English brown, everybody. Come yeah. on. Oh, I'll my brown is fabulous. You can't meet a Mike's brown. Um, <laughs> uh, will you be doing their brewery tours? Yes, of course. We're going to be doing the brewery tours uh, twice a week, two or three times a week on the sea days. And how do people sign up for that? They can uh, we you? can sign up on the Hub app when you get on board, or yeah. you can come talk to me directly. Very good. Thank you, Mike. We I, Listen, you, talk to Mike. Come and find him, everybody, because he is a brilliant at what he does. And you can sit here in the guy's pick and anchor and enjoy a fabulous pint of IPA, I'm not sure about the pineapple one, but is that, is that sort of like a chunk of pineapple in it? Uh, it's going to have a little, a little bit of pineapple puree, oh, okay. maybe a little passion fruit. It's a little more experimental, but those sour beers, they're, they're a little niche, but they're getting more popular. Wonderful. And Texas, you are going to have uh, a, a beer at a time because this place, I uh, can just now, you can, you can actually taste the aroma, can't you? It smells interesting, but you know, I have confidence in Mike when you enjoy it. We, when it's done, you'll enjoy it. He does a great job for us. He does, Mike. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Doc. This is Mike the Brewmaster, and this is his potion. do such an awesome job. Oh, sure. Um, and secondly, and this one is huge, like and subscribe. <laughs> Ring that notification bell so you know when this man is posting more videos. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> that you so much. You're welcome. Thank man. you, Lee. I just can't get away from a good time